Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our journey in discovering just a little bit more about this language by learning or you know looking up and close on how one set phrase in Chinese normally composed of four characters um, are made of. So last time we talked about Qiang Ren Suo Nan, and today we're going to continue with two characters this time. I like this kind of thing um, because out of the four, we reuse two characters in a new phrase, make a new meaning. And that way you can see how each character play out in different uh, language settings, right? Um, so zai suo nan mian. So instead of a qiang uh, ren suo nan, the suo nan, hung up together again in this phrase. Um, but it's a little bit different this time. Zai suo nan mian. Okay, let's go from the beginning. Zai simply is our at. And this act is a very philosophically um, created, this, uh, this concept of your act there. So basically it means uh, the state of being, you're being there, you're having it. Um, okay, it come with two parts, left and right. And the right is simple. I uh, will see that uh, symbol a lot of times. It means soil or the ground because, okay, this, if you see within the Chinese character frame, one horizontal line close to the bottom of the frame, and that's our symbol to simply mean ground level. And then on top of that, wait, sorry, <laughs> I misled you. Okay, so in this case, actually, the soil character, this ground level is here, not the bottom one, because um, this is something growing from the ground. And this um, bottom here means um, there is a root. Something growing there, there's still root. It's rooted within the ground. So it's below. So, okay, so here the emphasize is this is the ground level, but this is pointing toward under the ground. So um, in this concept of soil, soil is what below the surface of the ground, it's underneath it. So this is exactly what that means. Okay, so here it's high. Now, again, I broke my, uh, my theory of within this frame, the closer to the ground level horizontal line is the, the ground level. No, in this case, it's the top line again. So, okay, the difference between this one and this one, you see how it looks kind of similar, but here, this line go all the way through the bottom one. That means the root, right? So the root cutting across it, <laughs> Language creator probably at a point was thinking, so this is not about the soil uh, that the plant is, is built on. This is talking about the plant itself. And this is the center of attention. Like, okay, so we have the ground level, we have the plant, and this indicator means this is somewhere uh, within the root of the plant. So this, if here, the attention is on underneath the surface level. Here, the attention is on the root, which is underneath the surface level, but the emphasis on that root itself. So this character means uh, called Cai. It's innate talent. It's what you're born with. You're equipped with that. Of course, it needs to be discovered and then uh, you know, improved brought it out, right? Um, but it's your innate ability. Like people were innately set up to speak at some point, right? And that's through some training and some you know, human environment input. And then one day we all of a sudden can speak. That's our innate ability. So this is about that. It's what's, what you don't see. It's below the surface level and it's within you, it's there. So I regard this character philosophically, like internally you have this in you and externally you have this environment, this ground, this soil. So you have the environment to grow and you have internally 
the seed in you, so to speak. You have that innate ability in you and the meeting with the right environment. That's your state of being. And that's how the language creator um, used to mean you are there. You are where you should be, basically. So that's a pretty wordy way to explain it out. In contemporary language use, we don't think about all that you know, good meaning buried in this. Looks like really simple, just horizontal lines and vertical lines, like nothing fancy over there, but there are some good meanings buried in this character. And now we just understand Zai means at, so. So last time we talked about so means what, right? It's a container. And a container can mean not only an object, but mean a location. So here is like a pointer pointing to the direction of what's happening there, right? So it becomes where. So again, we use this character, which came from the sound of chopping down things, like axing, the sound of, I haven't heard of the axing, probably in the movies, but uh, here is the, the result of axing. So this is regard this as a log and a piece of it carved off it. So that's the result of chopping down. And the left side is a sound maker. It sounds like a who, but nothing like a su. <laughs> so sound evolved as well. Um, and this who means one panel door. So we have this together as the sound of chopping wood. And this was a commonly heard sound that people create a character for it and eventually was not used that often or not that relevant to people's lives anymore. But this character beautifully created already there. So it was borrowed to mean something else. Now it becomes an abstract concept of a container as container to uh, object or container to a location or direction, whatever you want to put there. So we we'll put a su there. Okay, zai su. So at, where? Still nothing to be said yet, right? Nothing concrete said over there. Um, and then nan mi and nan again is a borrowed word. It's a type of bird. And um, eventually this bird was not that often shown to people's life and people keep this character to mean difficulty. And my interpretation is birds are the most difficult to catch. Please correct me if I was wrong. I'm not a hunter or a bird catcher. I have no clue how difficult it is to catch a bird versus catch a fish versus catch a hunter animal. I have no clue. And by hunting, there's no gun involved, right? It was ancient time hunting, so bow and arrow only. So I would imagine bow and arrow shooting down a, a bird probably is the most challenging one. And so that's the bird related this is a type of bird. This is a sound maker for the bird. So this is a type of bird it was used to, to mean difficult. Probably this is the most difficult to catch bird, right? So it used as difficult becomes an abstract meaning of what, what a symbol of what it represents. And mian, okay, mian is a little bit tricky. So mian, it looks like, well, this, if contemporary Chinese, uh, simply, Simplified Chinese users may know that with a dot in here, this character would mean a rabbit. So that dot kind of symbolizes uh, the, the puffy tail of a, of a rabbit. And now it's a tailless rabbit. So that tail is gone. So, you know, there are ways that scholars can explain why this tailless rabbit can be used to, to mean escape. I mean, some quick running animal dodged it and it poof, it's gone. Uh, you cannot even see the tail of that. Um, so it's, it's kind of, um, yeah, yeah, I guess in that escaping sense, it's something who runs quickly. And I'm not sure rabbit has the ability to lose its tail well, running away, yeah, probably not, right? But in any case, it's a separation of the tail from the rabbit. And that means it, it disappeared from your sight. Um, it run away. Um, so it's, it's hard to catch. At where difficult escape, it's hard to make sense together, right? Okay, actually is, you know, uh, Group together 
here is like difficult to avoid. And 在所那面 means at this time and space where things are difficult to avoid. Does that make sense now? <laughs> Um, and then together, oops, together the whole phrase would mean well the screen screen、uh, freeze up on me unavoidable. So it's like at the place, time and space where it's difficult. So where at where it is difficult to avoid to escape the situation. It's like most likely you're going to fall into this trap. That's what happened to most people. So. One、um, I was searching for, what would be an image to represent unavoidable? So I searched this phrase on so the Chinese speaking media world, like what in what situations they would apply、uh, this phrase. Turn out this picture, it's some relationship channel,、um, you know, advice column to say, okay, it's unavoidable, like most people would experience this. That as couples, they would at some point in their life they are going to argue, just like representing their pointing fingers at each other, competitive,、uh, confrontational with each other, and this is unavoidable because you you just live too close to each other, and things will happen, difficult times will arise, and you would went into argument, and depends on the temperament of each person, right, and depend how big an issue it is, what kind of issue it is. You know things are going to explode, so this is unavoidable. Okay, enough of that relationship advice. I don't sign up for that. I mean, people like to program or set expectations of ourselves in a certain way, right? Because we see, say, our friends, our families, our parents are have these situations before. It doesn't mean it's it has to happen, right? There. Different approaches to things. So、um, here, the, the, probably want to set you up of this, accept this assumption that this is unavoidable. So the, here is my recipe of how to make things working out in such tough situations. So probably this is you know, it has to point out the pain first to sell you the remedy, so to speak, right? So. It becomes,、uh, you know, re regarded as unavoidable situation, but of course there are always ways to work around it. And that's it for today. Catching the currency of, think、uh, of thinking by one word a day with Sophie. See you another day.